and I was reeling him in and he jumped all the way over my boat. Oh, you're a fat one, aren't you? Look at the lake this morning, at sunrise. It's like glass. We are gonna tear them up today. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Brandon Hewitt here with Be Random Fishing. We just went fishing with this Terminator Walking Frog Jr. and really got blown up. I think I ended up getting like eight strikes. I caught my very first frog fish. It was awesome. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here. Very frustrating though. I ended up losing like seven fish. One fish landed, seven fish missed. That's a horrible hookup ratio. I was so frustrated, so frustrated. But we're gonna see if we can fix that. So we've got this new frog and I'm gonna show you the differences between the new one and what we're gonna to do to the old one. So as you guys can see, this frog is pretty chewed up. It got ate a lot. We're gonna make a modification to it to hopefully improve our hookup ratio. So I was watching Seth Fielder from Wired to Fish and he said he bends his hook, hooks up just a little bit. So we're gonna try that. All you need is a pair of needle nose pliers and you're just gonna take that hook Grab it, make sure you don't get the barb. You don't want to ruin the barb. You're just going to grab that hook and bend it up just a little bit. So when you get the brand new frog, the hooks lie right, right against the body of the frog. So there's, there's no way you can get snags. It's very, very weedless. But we ended up miss, missing a lot of fish. This is the difference between the hooks bent up a little bit and the hooks on a brand new frog. I don't really need to tell you which one's which. The brand new frog is obviously really pretty and brand new. You can see that hook is right in against the frog. On the one we bent up a little bit, you can see that hook point just barely sticking above the body of the frog. And that's what we want. We wanted to bend it up just a little bit. That way when the bass bites it, he'll bite it, chomp down on that plastic, and those hooks are already pointing up. On a brand new frog, when he bites down on it, those hooks are kind of parallel to where you would set the hook. So hopefully this gives us more hookups because there is nothing more frustrating than getting eight bites, like blow ups, like and missing seven of those fish. Let's get out to the lake and hopefully this makes a big difference. All right, y'all, I made those modifications to the frog. Those hook points are just barely sticking up. So we're hoping that that's gonna get us some more hook sets. I already got one. Oh, and he's on. Oh, first cast of the day. Oh, and he choked it. Look at that. Yes, sir. One hook right in the top of the mouth. Absolutely choked it. Hey, Noah. Yeah, I saw that. Well, that was pretty cool. So we're one for one so far. Whew, the frog bite is on. There it is. The sun is coming up. Wow. Well, I just got me a new bobber and a new catfish hook. Too shallow back here for any bass. All right, 
right, y'all, that's the Terminator frog in the sunrise. Gosh, it's so beautiful. It's a nice looking bait right there. And you can't complain about this sunrise. Whew. That's a nice one. Oh yeah. Oh come on, come on, come on. Gotcha. Dang. That is a nice bass. Holy crap. Double hooks right there in the top of the mouth. Look at that guys. There we go. There we go. Holy crap. That's my biggest frogfish ever. Wow. He was right up here in the shallows. He must have come out of those reeds. Ah, I got stuck. Hey guys. Check out this beast. Dang. Look at how fat that fish is. That is my biggest frogfish by far. And that's two for two. I've caught two fish. I haven't lost any yet. Just bending those hooks up a tiny bit has made so much of a difference. Look at this guy. Golly, it's so fat. He hammered it. He hammered it. Oh, it's a blast. Look at that guy right in the sunset. I mean the sunrise. It's a beautiful sunrise behind us. Let's give him a drink. Zach, look at this chunk. It's massive. There's another one right there. Let's go ahead and get you back. I'm gonna try and catch that one that just jumped right there. There she goes. That little fish came up and ate it, or tried to eat it. It was caught in the reeds. That was cool, that was a cool hit. Oh, come on, off of them reeds. So this is the trade-off. I've hooked two fish, caught two fish, but I've also hooked a lot of reeds. And last time I was out here, I don't think I hooked any where I got hooked like this. Where I had to come in and get it. This is some real skinny water. Those weeds are like, four inches deep. Come on. Come on. Oh, I wanted to fall straight down. Come on, froggy. Come on, froggy. Check that out. There's a little snake right there. He didn't like that. He's yelling at me.
He's checking to see if I'm gone yet. He liked that spot. What is he doing? Gosh, that was a good cast. Come on. I need a fish. Oh, he missed it. Darn it. That was him. He missed that frog. It's still exciting. I love it when they come up and hit it. That one didn't look very big. And I didn't wait to feel him either. I just set the hook. Maybe there's a bigger one with them. Come on back up. Come on back up. So I'm not going to count that as a missed fish because I never felt his weight. He missed the frog. If he misses the frog, I can't count that as, as bad. Let's see here. Oh, that was neat. A fish just came up right by my line. That was a missed fish. He took it under, but didn't get the hook. Darn it. Oh, come on! Two missed fish in a row? Right here, this is ridiculous. Oh. My streak was going so good. Oh, there's a fish back there. I see some waves. Come on out and eat my frog. There it is, that was the cast. Darn it. Gotcha! Yep! Come on, buddy. Oh, you're a fat one, aren't you? Oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! Oh my gosh. No, you see this one? Holy cow. Hey everybody, look at this hog. This is my biggest bass of the year. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Look at how big his mouth is. Fit my whole fist in there. That thing is massive. And I caught it on the Terminator Junior Walking Frog. Look at that. <laughs> Gosh, that's such a big bass. You want to hold it? Yeah. Let's give it a drink. Oh, God. It's heavy, right? We didn't bring the scale, did we? Uh-uh. This feels like a five pound. It's probably five. It's it's long. Look how long it is. It's not very fat, but it's super long. It's got a big mouth. Oh god. And there's the culprit right there. That walking frog. I swear to grab it right there. Ooh, ouch. He bit you. Are you ready? Yep. Bending the hooks out just a tiny bit. See how they're just a tiny bit? Definitely worked because that fish was a monster. Oh, 
Is he still on there? Nope. Ah, oh, he came off. That was cool. Hey y'all, thanks for watching. We tore it up with this Terminator frog. That little mod just bending the hooks up just a little bit. It seemed to work out really, really good. All up in these reeds, real shallow. And big bass are up here early morning feeding and uh, we tore them up. We caught three big bass today. One was my personal best of the year. My personal best on a frog for sure. Hey guys, we just got back from the lake and let me tell you, it made a huge difference. I ended up snagging up a little bit more. So I'd flip it into the reeds and I had to go in with my kayak a couple times because the frog got caught on the reeds. So that hook point sticking up just a little bit would snag more. So if you need absolute weedless, don't bend your hooks up. But for us, I would much rather catch a couple reeds and more fish. I think it was a very good idea. Another thing that I did, um, I didn't really point out, but you can see I got my heavier rod. I think this really made a big difference too. So it's a medium heavy seven foot rod. And it just gave me more power. It's got a big heavy butt. I could really set that hook. And I think that mixed with the hook set, the hooks bent up a little bit, really made a difference. And we tore them up, man. It was awesome. The rod that I used in my first video was this little six foot six medium rod. This is like my worming rod, and you can see it doesn't have much of a butt. Um, it was really hard to get a hook set. I even got bruises because I was sitting in my kayak, and this little metal part on the butt of the rod, I would set the hook so hard when they get that explosive strike that I even have bruises like on my stomach. I think it really made a difference upsizing the rod to this medium heavy Ocean Master and bending the hooks out. Those two things really made a difference. I hope you guys learned something in this episode. It was a lot of fun. I caught my personal best frogfish ever, and it was my biggest bass this year. They're right, man. Frogs catch big fish. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, fish, learn, repeat. We'll catch you on the next one.